<laughs> um, so Maple Leaf Foods Canada is a meat company. Um, predominantly, you'll see them with packs of bacon, lunch meat, that sort of deal. For some you reason, think it they was were syrup, but no, <laughs> no. Okay, you would maybe Maple Leaf, but that's just the logo, you know. Our syrup companies are I don't remember. Used to have a lot of Aunt Jemima up here. Now it's what is it, Old Mill or some crap like that? The original name. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, so they're promoting this tweet um, about this new hiring they did. Meet Janine Tamboli, Director of Diversity and Inclusion, DNI, and Maple Leaf <laughs> Foods. In this leading woman in this leading women of Maple Leaf profile, she reflects on the pivotal moment that inspired her to join the team and walk through our diversity and inclusion blueprint. So they have four pillars, this company, they said, for diversity and inclusion. All of it's nothing. I'm going to guess this job makes 90 to 110 grand a year. Um, and they do a little interview with her and she can't, e and I pointed out one part of it. She can't even explain her job. Listen to how she answers this. <laughs> Why is gender equity so important in the workplace? Gender equity and gender equality are important everywhere. The business case for both is well established as is the social imperative. I think a better question is, why would gender equity not be considered important? Exclamation point, question mark. So why is your job important? Well, why wouldn't it be considered important? It's Well, the case for it is well established. So she doesn't even have to an have an answer for why she works there. And they have like four pillars. Um, I guess they could go. Somebody responded with something. And this, this is what they do, though. This is what they do a lot of the time, right? They will just say, well. The, you, when you ask them something, well, that was debunked or it's been it's already been, you know, but they won't they will never tell you. They'll just say, well, that's already established. It's like, well, I'm asking you, but you just I mean, can you can you give me one of those one of those reasons that it has been so set in stone already? No, of course not. I'm going to find their four pillars that they promoted. They have four pillars for their uh, diversity plan. I had it open before. We'll find in a second. Um, I also but basically just really this woman's job exists. This woman's job exists to gen to find ways to I'm sure get them to get tax write-offs of donating money to other people that she knows. Go ahead. No, well, it's just kind of like a strong arm. It's like mob tactics, you know. Like, well, you know, like you you need to do your diversity. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to to get bombed with bad Yelp reviews or something. You know what I mean? You wouldn't want something bad to happen to the company. You wouldn't, you know, that's what it feels like to me. But it's also funny, uh, diversity and inclusion, D&I. And it's like, well, obviously it's diversity, inclusion, and equity, D-I-E. And they they left that part out that, of course, would spell the word die. But they don't, I mean, this is, oh, this is so triggering watching these people. They just come up with this <laughs> random stuff. They don't explain it. And then expect you to just, I mean, you just you just have to take it. You you ask them one question, and well, it's already been answered. Okay, well, I didn't hear it. Explain it to me, but they won't. This is no. There's no another cookies thing. It's so st I, I hate it. Every website is just please view our cookie policy, everybody. Yeah, it's We're it's really agree. annoying. Maybe foods you can have it for the purpose of. I got a good um. This guy. Oh, very this diverse. guy. Yeah. They, that looks like a they them. Is that a that could be a they them? Oh, you know? check back. Doesn't say the name. Oh, we got info here. Max for Mississauga. Uh, Mississauga, Ontario is west of Toronto. It's a very like industrial. That's where all the factories and shipping companies work. So here's their four pillars, which you're just going to be blown away at how amazing they are. Drive accountability to represent the community we serve, educate and empower people empower people leaders to set measurable goals and champion and realize our company-wide commitments and goals so not even these are our goals empower people to set measurable goals that's <laughs> our first goal our first goal is to not have goals it's to empower people to set goals uh, number two align our people practices to our values let's get us on screen here Eric. we deserve it we deserve the clout <laughs> of being on screen here <laughs> There we go. Align our people practices to our values. Again, we've invented a word, people leaders and people practices. Audit, evaluate, and embed diversity, awareness, and inclusive practices into people programs and policies to mitigate bias and make talent practices fair, equitable, and reflective of our values. You're a meat company. You package baloney. What this does makes, this mean, This is Eric? a word salad. It's absolute word salad. It doesn't mean anything except all this means is, you know, 
we are playing the game. We are playing ball. Exactly, we are part right? of this. Like, we are letting you know right now that you are not going to get within <laughs> 20 feet of this building unless you capitulate to these nonsensical uh, <laughs> it, it's absolute word salad. And yet, to your point, like you could look at this and you would obviously have no idea what they're selling. Now, granted, this is not their mission statement. It's not supposed to explain what they're doing, but it, the disconnect is, I mean, maybe it's worth clicking around the website. I mean, how much time click. do they spend on, spend on this? And I mean, well, they have is a everything else at the company perfect? Is everything else perfect? I don't want to hear right? about any recalls. I don't want to hear about nothing should be, everything should be absolutely perfect by the time you get to spewing this absolute nonsense. Well, they've had recalls. Canadian meat companies love the recalls. And I don't eat Maple Leaf Foods or Schneider's because they've had recalls. Uh, I'll, I'll double check that quickly on my phone. Uh, I think it was both. But if I go Maple Leaf Foods... Maple Leaf Foods recall. What's the last one? Maple Leaf Foods is recalling its frozen chicken breast strips that may contain a toxin produced by Staphylococcus by bacteria. Um, let's see when that was. When, when was that? Yeah, twenty seventeen. Okay, so a little while ago. But... And there's also a listeriosis outbreak in two thousand eight from them. Their meat <laughs> recall could. Uh, yeah, so oh, okay. that's so they're in two thousand eight when I. <laughs> 2008 when I stopped buying them because I was like, uh, you guys aren't taking care of your meat too much. So course, they're, so they're going on about, uh, about <laughs> once, a, once a decade. Turn it up, Jordan.